Hi, welcome once again to another new video. This is Santu Sau, and you are watching Sau's tutorial. I hope that you are all well by the grace of Almighty. Here I am again with a mock test on English literature for the upcoming MEC and Assam Slet. So this is the day one, and I before starting this session, I would like to request all of you please do subscribe my channel and tap the bell icon to get more notification that I will upload in future. So here is your first question on your screen. Let's get into the video. So the first question is that the poem begins and ends with the line. So the poem begins and ends with the line, I have been one acquainted with the night. And in between the speaker uses the imagery uh, to convey to the reader and the nature nature of solitude. Name the poet. So the beginning and the ending uh, line of the poem was I have been one acquainted with the night. And in between this in between the speaker uses imagery to convey to the reader the nature of solitude. Name the poet. Options are Robert Frost, uh, Hilda Doolittle, Amy Lovell, and John Keats. So your right option is here, Robert Frost. Robert Frost's poem that is one acquainted with the acquainted with the night. This is the name of the poem, acquainted with the night. In that uh, poem, uh, the line that is I have been one acquainted with the night appears. So Robert Frost is the right answer here. Next question, O Poesia, take my heart. It is thy due. I think I will not quarrel with the bond. O Portia, take my heart, it is thy due. I think I will not quarrel with thy, uh, with the bond. These are the concluding lines of which poem? Sonnets written at the Lyceum Theatre Portia, acquainted with the night, remember, or those winter Sundays. So these are the ending or the concluding lines of sonnets written at the Lyceum Theatre of Portia. And that was written by Oscar Wilde. Oscar Wilde had written this poem that is sonnets written at the Lyceum Theatre Portia and these are the ending lines of that poem written by Oscar Wilde. Next question. Said in 1941 the story is about how she is constant, consistently regarded as ugly due to her mannerisms and dark skin. So the heroine here is consistently regarded as ugly because of her mannerisms and dark skin. And for that result, as a result, as a, uh, she develops an inferiority complex with fuels, uh, which fuels her desire for the blue eyes. Now, she is desiring for blue eyes and trying to equate with uh, whiteness. Name the novel. Your options are the bluest eyes, Sula, Song of Solomon, Beloved. So, uh, you know that these no these all novels were written by. Uh, Tony Morrison, the Afro-American writer, and this character actually appears in the novel uh, The Bluest Eyes. So here, The Bluest Eyes is the right option. Next question: Who wrote discourse on the origin and basis of inequality among men? And it is also commonly known as Second Discourse. So, who is the author of discourse on the origin and the basis of inequality? It is also known as Second Discourse. And this work was published in the year uh, 1755. Your options are Jean Jacques August Strindbach, Emil Jola, Honor de Balzac. So, discourse on the origin and the basis of inequality that was uh, written by uh, Jean Jacques Rousseau. So, here A is the right option. Moving to the next question Who is the author of the book The Social Contract? The Social Contract, originally published as On the Social Contract or principle of political right so you know this is the famous work written by uh, your options are here Jean Jacques Rousseau, August Strindberg, Emile Jola, Honor de Balzac yeah this social contract was also written by Jean Jacques Rousseau so here A is the right option A is the right option next question which African American writer Afro American writer wrote uh, playing in the dark the whiteness and literary imagination playing in the dark whiteness and literary imagination now your options are <coughs> sorry tony morrison uh, tony Mon tony morrison jora neil hurston amiri baraka alice walker so here uh, this actually this was written by uh, tony morrison tony morrison is the right option who wrote the following regarding the new morality i shall endeavor to enliven morality with wit and to temper wit with morality so who wrote this famous uh, line that i shall endeavor to enliven morality with wit and to temper wit with morality your options are dryden no pope 
no addition none of these yeah so this watch actually written or told by addition addition has told this line next in uh, in its aim to enliven morality with wit and to temper uh, wit with morality in the in the spectator they adopted a fictional method of presentation through a spectator club it, whose imaginary members extolled the author's own ideas about society so this famous uh, line appear in the work spectator okay next question who wrote the sonnet when i have fears when i have fears options are robert frost no hilda dolittle no amy lowell no john kids so john kids has written the poem the way when i have fears moving to the next question who wrote sonnets written at the lyceum theater portia who wrote the famous sonnets written at the uh, lyceum theater portia your options are oscar wilde michael drayton philip sydney edmund spencer yeah so sonnets written at the lyceum theater portia was actually written by oscar wilde oscar wilde has written this uh, sonnet moving to the next question now this is these are the lines i marvel not bassanio was so bold to peril all he had upon the lit or that proud aragon bent low his head or that morocco's fiery heart grew cold so these are the opening lines of which poem so these are the opening lines i rip, I, I, i read it again i marvel not bassanio was so bold to peril all he had upon the lit uh, or that proud aragon bent low his head or that morocco's fiery heart grew cold so these are the opening lines of which poem sonnets written at the lyceum theater portia acquainted with the night remember those winter sundays yeah so these were the opening lines of the famous sonnet written by oscar wilde that is sonnets written at the lyceum theater of portia so here a is the right option moving ahead to the next question who dedicated his 1940 autobiography and the name of the autobiography was dusk of dawn to spingarn's memory calling him scholar and knight so who was the writer who has dedicated his autobiography that was published in the year 1940 and the name of the autobiography is dusk of dawn to whom to spingarn's memory and he called spingarn as scholar and knight your options are john crowdanjum or uh, no j e spingarn i a richards or w e b du bois so here right option is w e b du bois has written the autobiography dusk of dawn where he has uh, he has he has dedicated this work to whom to uh, j e springer hmm and he has called j e springer as scholar and knight next question ramaswami is the central character he is the protagonist of which novel this is an indian novel r k narayan's the guide no Raja Rao's the serpent and the robe, or Mulkas Anand's, yeah, across the black water snow. So, these three options are eliminated here. None of these no. So here, Ramaswamy is a famous character in the work of Raja Rao's novel that is the serpent and the robe. Serpent and the robe's uh, main protagonist is Ramaswamy. You know that R K Narayan, Raja Rao, and Mulkas Anand they are the Indian trio of fiction writing. Indian trio of fiction writing. Moving ahead to the next question, Bianca. Bianca is actually a novel that was published in the year 1878. Okay, Bianca is a novel that was published in the year 1878. Was written by whom? Arudat, Arudat, S. C. Dat, Tarudat. So yeah, Bianca that was published in the year 1878. It was actually written by Tarudat. So here D is the right option. Here this is the novel written by Tarudat. Uh, Bianca. Its uh, and its uh, subtitle is the Young Spanish Maiden. Okay, its subtitle is the Young Spanish Maiden. It was published in the year eighteen seventy-eight. It's a novel by Tarudat. It was published the in the year after after her death at the age of twenty-one, and its its famous opening line was the opening line of the Bianca or the Young Spanish Maiden was like it was a cold drizzling day of February. The bare trees waved their withered branches to the bleat, to the biting wind in a wet and mournful manner. as if they were wringing their hands in agonized despair so actually this was the opening line of that novel bianca or the young spanish maiden written by tarudat okay moving ahead to the next question who wrote the new hesperides 
New Hesperides and other poems. This is the collection of poems who wrote this collection of uh, poetry or poem. It, as, it is named as the New Hesperides or other poems. Now your options are John Crowrangham, J. E. Spingern, I. E. Richards or W. E. B. Du Bois. Yeah. So here J. E. Spingern has written the poetry collection it is as uh, the New Hesperides and the other poems. So here B is the right option. Sula. Sula is a famous novel written by which Afro-American writer? Uh, which Afro-American writer has written the novel Sula? Your options are Tony Morrison, Jora Neil Huston, Amiri Baraka, Alice Walker. So Sula is a novel written by Tony Morrison. Tony Morrison has written Sula. He has also written Beloved. Beloved, the bluest eyes. These are the famous novels uh, written by Tony Morrison. Okay. See, he, he has also written Song of Solomon. Song of Solomon is also a famous novel written by Tony Morrison, the Afro-American writer. Moving ahead to the next question. Who wrote the New Criticism, a lecture delivered at Columbia University? So who wrote the New Criticism, a lecture delivered at Columbia University, March 9, 1910? So your options are John Crowrangham, J. H. Spingarn, I. A. Richards, W. E. B. Du Bois. You know, in this work, for the first time, uh, J. H. Spingarn has actually used the term new criticism. So J. H. Spingarn was the person who, for the first time, has used the word new criticism, but he has not coined this word new criticism. Later, in the work of John Crowrangham, that was published in the year 1941, with the same title that is that is new criticism in 1941 in that work john crowrangham has coined the term new criticism but for the first time the new criticism was used by whom j e spingarn in his uh, lecture that is the new criticism a lecture delivered at columbia university so here the right option is j e spingarn j e spingarn so b is the right option moving ahead to the next question it is strange but true for truth is always strange, stranger than fiction. Who wrote this? It is strange but true. For truth is always strange, stranger than fiction. Now your options are Lord Byron, P. B. Shelley, John Keats, none of these. Yeah, this line actually uh, was told by Lord Byron. So here Byron is the right option. Actually, the, fa uh, the first recorded use of this expression in its modern form is in Lord Byron's famous work that is Don Juan. Lord Byron's famous work Don Juan that was published in the year 1823. In that work, there is the first use of, of this expression that it is strange but true. For truth is always strange and stranger than fiction. If it could be told, how much would novels gain by the exchange? So it, these lines appear in the, in the work Don Juan by Lord Byron. Moving ahead to the next question, Shakespeare took many characters and incidents from Plutarch's life. So Shakespeare has taken many characters, many characters and incidents from Plutarch's life. They was published in the year 1579. Now who has translated this book into English? So who has translated Plutarch's lives into English? Your options are Thomas North, Knox, John Fox, none of these. Yeah. So, who has translated this? It was Thomas North has translated into English. So A is the right option. Moving ahead to the next questions. Thomas Hardy's creation of a character that is Sue Bridehead. Sue Bridehead is the main protagonist of that novel. An adulterous figure. No, it is a, one of the characters there. Okay, Sue, uh, Sue, uh, Sue Bridehead. Thomas Hardy's creation of character Sue Bridehead is an adulterous figure in which novel? Taste. The Mayor of Kester Beach, Return of the Native, or Jude the Obscure. So, here the character Sue Brighthead appears in the famous novel by Thomas Hardy, each here Jude the Obscure. So, D is the right option. Next question Which is considered the long loved mistress rhyme? Which is considered as the long loved mistress rhyme? Your options are the heroic couplet, the free verse, rhyme royal, or sprung rhythm. No. So, here heroic couplet. Heroic couplet is considered as long loved mistress rhyme. So A is the right option over here. The character Jimri, 
the character Jimri appears in which work of Dryden? In which work of Dryden? The character Jimri appears in which work of Dryden? Your options are Mac Fligno, Absalom and Achitophel, the medal, the rehearsal. So here Jimri, that is George of Villers. Here Jimri, the character appears in Dryden's work, that is Absalom and Achitophel. So here B is the right option. Let's look at this explanation here. That of Achitophel's men, there is a Jimri. There is Jimri who has many ideas but is never right. And Jimri has had many professions. And once over the course of a month, he was a chemist, a fiddler, a statesman, a buffoon. And he is particularly good at wasting money and was even disgraced from court. In the Bible, Jimri is a king of Israel for seven days, but he is no real threat to David or to throne in Absalom and Achitophel. Jimri likely presents George Villars, that is the second Duke of Buckingham, an English statesman and a poet who had disgraced himself in war and organized an unsuccessful plot against the government. So here yeah, Jimri, uh, the character appears in Dryden's Absalom and Achitophel. And he is actually representing George Villars, the second Duke of Buckingham. Next question. Man is born free and everywhere he is in chains. So man is born free but in everywhere he is in chains. So this famous line appears in which work of Jean Jacques Rousseau? This is the beginning line of which novel, of which work here. Yeah. The social contract, email or education, confessions or Julie or the Heloise. So this famous line actually appears in the work The Social Contract written by Jin Jack Rashu. So here A is the right option. Muno. Muno is a character in Anand's which novel? Mulcrash Anand's Muno is a character in which novel? Seven Sumas. No. Untouchable. No. In the Untouchable, there is the character of Bakha. But in Kuli, there the character uh, Muno appears. So here C is the right option. Muno appears in, in, in Kuli. So C is the right option here. Rigia, Empress of Indy. Rigia, Empress of Indy is written by which poet of in, which by, by, by which Indian poet? Sarojini Naidu, Michael Madhusudan Dutt, Tarudat, Sri Aurobindo. So here Rigia, Empress of Indy, uh, Indy was written by here the right option is Michael Madhusudan Dutt. Michael Madhusudan Dutt has written Rigia, Empress of Indy. It is actually uh, play that is Michael Madhusudan Dutt composed in Madras in Madras his first play that is Rigia Empress of Indy that is published in the year 1855 and it was a kind of a tragedy about the 13th century Sultana of Delhi who loved her Abyssinian slave. The play titled Rigia Empress of Indy is a fictional account of Rigia Sultana the only women ruler of the Delhi Sultanate. Okay. Moving ahead to the next question who first used the word new criticism so it is it is, it is written as who first used who first used the word new criticism john crow ransom no he has coined the word new criticism j e spinger i a richards arthur b spinger so here new criticism or the first time was used by j e spinger b is the right option over here b next question nathan and rukmani nathan and rukmani are characters in kamala markandes which novel so, in which novel of Kamala Markandes, uh, the characters like Nathan and Rukmani appear. Your options are nectar in a sheep, the copper dams, a uh, handful of rice, a, 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 a silence on desire, okay. So, here yeah, it is actually, it is a silence of desire actually, okay. Mm. Silence of desire, yes, silence of desire, mm. a, a silence of desire a silence of desire yeah so here the right option is actually nectar in sip nectar in sip so here a is the right option a nectar in sip nectar in a sip this title has been taken from uh, st coldridge work that is work without hope work without hope so the title of this work that is nectar in a, a sip has been taken from uh, william uh, samuel taylor coldridge work that is work without hope and the characters like Nathan and Rukmani appear in the novel Nectar in a Sip by Kamala Markandya. Okay, moving ahead to the next question. Gitanjali by Aaron Tagore contains how many poems? 103, 106, 108, 109. It is actually 103. 
and who wrote the preface of Gitanjali? It was William Butler Yeats. Okay. All of my books, Dickens declared, Charles Dickens declared that all of uh, of all my books, I like this the best. Which book is referring to? Okay, which book is he referring to? Your options are Great Expectations, The Tale of the Two Cities, Oliver Twist, David Copperfield. So yeah, uh, he is referring to David Copperfield, the autobiographical novel by Charles Dickens that he says that of all of my books, I like this the best. And which book is referring to here? It is David Copperfield written by Charles Dickens. Moving ahead to the next question. One of the important themes that, are that they secure in Henry James fiction. So here Henry James fiction is one of the important themes. So which, which is the important theme of uh, Henry, James, Henry James fiction? The contrast between European and American cultures or the predicament, uh, the, the predicament of modern men or love or none of these. Yeah. So here in the novels of Henry James, Henry James, you will find that there is the description of the contrast between European and American cultures. So here A is the right option. Next question, in which of the following novels of Virginia Woolf, uh, Woolf does a character change his sex? Okay. Does a character, character is changing his sex? In which novel of Virginia Woolf we find this kind of incident? Your options are Mrs. Dalway. Uh, to the lighthouse, no, uh, Orlando, none of these, yeah, so it was Orlando, in the work Orlando here, Virginia Woolf's Orlando, we find that a character is changing his sex, here C is the right option. Next question, who is the writer of email, email that is said to be have, that is said to have influenced the romantic movement, okay, so email has influenced romantic movement, so who has written email, your options is Aristotle, Rasu, uh, did you write or none of these? Yeah, so here it was actually written by Jinjak Rasu. So here B is the right option. Next question Which writer's works are said in the fictional village of Makando and most of them explore the theme of solitude? It was uh, your options are Gabriel Garcia Marquis, Jamaica Kincat, Derek Walcott, Edward Brathwaite. So Makando is the fictional village created by Gabriel Garcia Marquis. So here A is the right option. Moving ahead to the next question, who is the author of 100 years of solitude? Gabriel Garcia Marquis, Jamaica Kincaid, Derek Walcott, Edward Brathwaite. So uh, 100 years of solitude was written by Gabriel Garcia Marquis. Way is the right option over here. Next question, who, the, who first used the term practical criticism? The term practical criticism was for the first time used by I. A. Richards, J. Spingarn, I. A. Richards or W. E. B. Du Bois. It was actually used by I. A. Richards. Okay, in his work, 1929 works, practical criticism, a study in literary judgment. Study. So, in practical criticism, a study in literary judgment. In that, it was published in the year 1929. In that book, for the first time, he has used practical criticism. Practical criticism was published. When was practical criticism published? 1924, uh, 1929, and 41, and 39. Yeah, practical criticism was published in 19. Uh, 29 so here b is the right option b 1929 next question who said that patriotism is the last refuge of a scoundrel who said that patriotism is the last refuge of a scoundrel thomas carroll winston churchill samuel johnson's matthew arnold it was samuel johnson said this line samuel johnson so here in 1774 he printed the patriot a critic of the, what he viewed as a false patriotism. On the evening of 7th April 1775, he made a famous statement that is Samuel Johnson that patriotism is the last refuge of the scoundrel. Okay. Who wrote the sentimental novel Julie or the New Heloise? It is also, uh, Julie is also an epistolary novel. It Julie is also uh, an epistolary novel. Epistolary Julie is also an epistolary novel. So, who wrote the sentimental or the and the epistolary novel Julie or the new Heloise? Your options are Jinja Grasu, Augustine Buck, Emile Jola, or one of the Belgian. Yeah, actually, it was written by Jinja Grasu. Okay. Next question Who is the author of An Equal Music? Salman Rushdi, Amitabh Ghosh, Vikram Seth, Arun Jussi. An Equal Music was written by Vikram Seth. Vikram Seth has written uh, An Equal Music. Moving ahead to the next question, it follows the life of Macon Milkman, Dead 3, an African-American man living in Michigan 
from birth to adulthood and the novel opens with the threat death of robert smith name the novel song of solomon sula the bluest is beloved so this is the opening uh, incident of a novel called song of solomon written by tony morrison song of solomon sula the bluest is beloved these are all uh, novels written by uh, tony morrison the afro american writer so this is the opening incident of the novel called song of solomon next question what is the subtitle of practical criticism that was published in the year 1929 and in this work for the first time the american critic i a richards has used the term uh, that is uh, that is uh, practical criticism so the subtitle of practical criticism is a study in literary judgment a study of literary judgment a study in literary criticism a study of literary criticism no so it was actually study in literary judgment so here a is the right option study in literary judgment a is the right option next question salman rushdi uh, has owned the booker of bookers for which one grimas the satanic verses same midnight children yeah so salman rushdi has owned the booker of booker prize for is the midnight children so here the d is the right option midnight children marabar caves marabar caves is symbolically represents um, that is em foster's novel in that novel uh, that is a passage to india em foster's a passage to india the marabar caves appear actually and that novel in that novel marabar caves symbolically represents evil art of the architect beauty or natural environment so here marabar caves in the in the, in the novel called a passage to india written by em foster representing is representing what evil so here a is the right option next question who wrote the poem you laughed and laughed and laughed Gabriel Okara, Gabriel Okara, Okara, Dinas Brutas, Chinua Achebe, Thomas Hardy. You laughed and laughed and laughed. This is a poem written by Gabriel Okara. Here A is the right option. Next question. Which work begins with this line? Everything is good as it leaves the hands of author of things. Everything degenerates in the hands of a man. So everything is good as it leaves the hands of the author of things. And everything degenerates in the hands of a man. So this is the beginning line of which work, email or education, the social contract, confessions or Julie or the Heloise. So this famous opening line is from email or education written by Jinja Krasu. So here A is the right option. Next question, who wrote the poem Literary Evening in Jamaica? Literary Evening in Jamaica, your options are Derek Walcott, Gabriel Okra, Chinua Achibi or Mervyn Morris. So literary evening in Jamaica was written by Mervyn Morris. Here D is the right option. Moving ahead to the next question. When was Mulcres Anand's novel Untouchable where the Bakha appears? The main protagonist of the Untouchable was published in which 1936? No, 1935, 1967 or 1977. So Mulcres Anand's Untouchable uh, was published in the year 1935. So B is the right option, 1935. Next question, who wrote a successful stage a play called Tuglak? Mohan Rakesh, Badal Sarkar, Vijay Tendulkar, Girish Kannad. It was Girish Kannad. Girish Kannad has written a successful stage play called Tuglak. So here is the question number 4 9. Who wrote these lines in line and in which play? It is a women's business to get married as soon as possible. And a man's business is to keep unmarried as long as he can. So it is a women's business to get married as soon as possible and a man's business is to keep unmarried as long as he can. So who wrote uh, these lines in which play? Sheridan's Rivals? No. Congreve's The Way of the World? No. G.B. Shaw in his Man and, in his Man and Super Women or John Osborne's Look Back in Anger. So these famous lines appear in G.B. Shaw's Man and Superman. So here C is the right option. Next question, uh, question number 50. In which play do we find characters by name of Lady Teasel? So the characters like Lady Teasel, Sir Benjamin Backbite, Lady Sneerwell appear in which novel? Rivals? No. School for Scandal, Way of the World, St. John. So Lady Teasel, Sir Benjamin Backbite, Lady Sneerwell appear in the novel, school for, in, the, in the play, uh, in the play that is School for Scandal. B is the right option. Next question, who wrote the famous poem Adelstrop? Adelstrop was written by, by whom? Dylan Thomas? No. Hardy? No. Eads? No. Edward Thomas? Yeah. So here Adelstrop is a famous poem written by uh, Edward Thomas. Next question, now, now let's look at the explanation here. 
sorry, Adel Strop is a poem by Edward Thomas. It is a based on a railway journey Thomas took on 24th June 1914, during which his train briefly stopped at the at the now closed station in the Gloucestershire village of Adel Strop. Okay, so written by Edward Thomas. So here is the last question, uh, which which is the only novel written by Bartold Brecht. Bartold Brecht's uh, epic theatre is mainly known for but his only novel is mother courage no 30 years where no three penny novel three hostages so bottle breaks the only love in each on the only novel each uh, three penny novel so C is the right option here so these were all 52 questions I have discussed please do subscribe my channel and stay tuned with my channel that is south tutorial and tap the bell icon to get more notification and upload in future. Thank you.